come along with me as I prep and plan for my daughter's second birthday. We're going to be doing a old Toodles theme for my Minnie Mouse obsessed baby girl. Her party is now in a few weeks. So the first thing I wanted to do is go ahead and get the invitation created on Canva and get it sent out. I like to start with a blank page and tweak and play around with ideas until I get the desired look. I'll be customizing a few things for this party. So for the invitation, I decided to go with a cute pink theme. I'm going to download this and plug it into Evite and send it out to my family members. Make sure you follow along for part two to see the rest of the planning. All right, I'm back with another party planning video. Now that our party invitations are sent out, I wanted to go ahead and get our cake ordered as well. As you can see here, I'm just going through the prompts of the Walmart custom cakes portal, putting my cake order in and setting the pickup date for a small cake. And it's only going to be $10. There are three days left until my daughter's second birthday party and we got a bounce house from Amazon. We wanted to have our own bounce house for our daughter to play on, but now we can also use it for the birthday party, which is perfect. We love the color scheme and it was a really great price. There are two days left until my daughter's second birthday party, so I decided to get on Canva and make some cute little custom signs for the party. I designed a welcome sign and these table cards to label all of the food, and I thought that would be a nice cute little touch to match the theme. I printed them out on cardstock that I already had here at home, and here is how they turned out. Such a cute little touch. It's the day before my daughter's second birthday party and I just got a huge delivery from Walmart. I've also been getting deliveries in all week from Amazon and Shein because it's finally time to get set up for this birthday party. We're having the party at my parents' house so I took over a wagon full of stuff and here I am just breaking it all in and I will be bringing you guys along with me as I get prepped and set up for my daughter's second birthday party. Make sure you stay tuned and of course thanks so much for watching. the day before my daughter's second birthday party and i'm bringing y'all along with me as i get set up for the party in the last video i showed y'all me unloading everything but now let's get to it i am clearing off the table space that we're going to be using i had to get my dad to help me pull this table back it was so heavy i put up that backdrop that i got from amazon it is so cute and vibrant and now i'm just mapping out the table to see how i want everything laid out for the party Next, I'm working on getting the balloon garland set up, and I'll have another video in depth of how I do that. As y'all can see, the sun has gone down, but I'm still working. Here's how the balloons turned out. They look so cute. And doing all of this the night before just really helps me save a bunch of time the day of the party. Here's how I decided to leave the table. Make sure you stay tuned to see how I fill it in with the food the day of the party. Thanks for watching. going to show y'all how I create my balloon garlands a very easy and simple way using these balloons that I got from Shein as you can see on the screen here I got two packs of about 140 balloons for about six dollars I only needed about half of one pack but I just like to get extra in case any of them pop this balloon pump that I'm using is from Amazon it definitely makes blowing up all of the balloons quicker it was around twenty dollars and I would say it's definitely a must-have now to create my garland I used the balloon art strip and the glue dots that you see here on the screen this makes creating the balloon garland so much easier in my opinion and then to get them up on the wall i use the long balloons like the balloon animal balloons and since i was putting it up on a curtain rod i slide it through the holes as you saw there and i put it on the curtain rod as you see here so it was very simple to do that once it's up then i go ahead and fill it in and it's much much easier if you have any more questions definitely let me know I'm going to show y'all how I created this super cute balloon column for my daughter's second birthday party. I got this column stand from Shein. It was about $5. It was really easy to put together as you can see here and pretty tall. It came with these little rings to loop the balloons into and slide them down but I ended up actually taping the poles together as you can see here and that just gave me a little bit of extra sturdiness. To make the balloon column, I took two balloons, blew them up, and tied them together in sets of two. Then I took my sets of two and made them quads and slid them onto the pole, as you see here. I stacked several balloon quads until I got the desired height that I wanted it to be. 
and then from there i blew up a number two balloon from walmart it was like one dollar and i taped that on the very top at that little bit of pole that was left and here's how it turned out It's the morning before my daughter's second birthday party so let's make a fruit tray for the party. I saw these cute zigzag cuts on TikTok and had to do them to jazz up this fruit tray. Next, I am just peeling and slicing up all of my freshly washed fruit. Next, I added all of the fruit to the tray. This turned out so cute. Make Rice Krispies treats for my baby's second birthday party. I know everyone wants a pretty girl like you. Look so good when you put me inside to this. Ain't nothing like that moment when it tips in. Good God. Look at you, you're doing such a good job. Girl, I'm proud of you. I love the sound of you. Girl, you're mine now. You were made for me. Come for me, baby. You don't gotta wait for me. Yeah, I want you to get It's the morning of my daughter's second birthday party, so come along with me for the final video in our party planning series. Setting up this birthday party was so fun, so I wanted to show y'all how I ended up putting out all of the food and how I incorporated all of the custom-made signs. I also wanted to make sure I included pictures as well so that y'all could really get a good look at everything. My daughter absolutely loved her party and had such a great time with all of our family. I loved how this party came out and how all of the decorations and DIYs tied in so well together. Thank y'all so much for coming along with me in this party planning series. Make sure you like this video and follow for more party planning in the future and hosting as well. Thank y'all so much for watching. You ready? Go ahead and pray. Jesus. Okay, that's it. Happy birthday to you. For all the girls that's I am D E P E N D N T. This for all the girls that be living stress free. This for all the girls on a mission like me. This for the girls. This for all the girls around the world. This is for the